Shalom. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders, Great Millstone, who were well and taught me this truth and are worthy of double honors and been laboring in this truth for 30 plus years. All right. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash, Barakatham. That's how you sincere listeners who may hear this. All right. And I just want to go into a little quick lesson on uh, rebuke. All right. Because you know, if, if you want to tell the brother something or you want to correct the brother on something, you know, if you want to speak out on something, you, it, it shouldn't be no problem to have to, uh, to to say it. All right. Because if we love if we love one another. OK, then we, we would speak out about how we truly feel, man. We wouldn't be holding it in, you know, and, and feeling some type of way. And then truthfully, you know, you you, you want to just go in, man. All right. Which is it's, it's a wise way to rebuke and re re reprove and rebuke someone. You know, you want to make sure you do it in the right manner and make sure you're not going off and, and, and before you pluck the bean out of uh, your eye, uh, before you try to pluck, say your brother, he got a bean in his eye. Uh, you pluck the bean out your eye, okay, and you want to make sure that you're not, uh, you know, offending a brother, okay, if, 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 if offenses don't uh, need to come, but if, if it's in righteousness and you rebuking a brother, it shouldn't be no offenses, all right? So let's uh, get this right here. All right, this Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Your open rebuke is better than secret love. Let's go into this word rebuke. Or it's better to rebuke somebody than, than than to love them. Oh, I love you, I love you, but you can't you can't tell them how you feel. Then that's not true love, man. Strong's H eighty four thirty three. Tochacha, tochacha, and second entry. Tochacheth, tochacheth. Okay, it says Slakia. Rebuke, correction, reproof, reproof, punishment, chastisement. Correction, rebuke, yeah. So correction, all right. You, it, it shouldn't be no problem to to correct a brother on something he going off on, all right. And it shouldn't be no problem for him to correct you on something you go out, going off on. And if you feel like a brother needs correction and you just holding it back, okay, then you know, uh, e either you going off, okay, or he going off because he because you feel like you can't uh tell him how you truly feel without him uh brushing it off or or, or not accepting it. Okay, or or because because when somebody come at you too, you know, a brother tell you to correct something, and you gotta really examine yourself and be like, oh yeah, do I does this need correction? All right, well let's get this real quick. Let's get this real quick. That's First Corinthians thirteen. So like yeah, the Second Corinthians thirteen and five. Okay, kind. This uh Second Corinthians chapter thirteen verse five. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Yeah, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. And if you in the faith, then you gotta be taking correction is is a part. Taking rebuke and reproof is is a part of this truth, man. And it shouldn't be no problem, man. All right, because what you see one of the synonyms and one of the definitions for it was uh was chastisement, man. All right, and Yahabashim Yahshua is all about chastisement, man. All right, he could use a brother to to chastise you, man. All right, but you shouldn't be chest, just trying to chastise nobody. It could be really sincere for correction so you can uh, really, uh, you know, uh, help a brother and, uh, and, and help help them be uh, right in the sight of the Lord. And, you know what I'm saying, for y'all to have communion uh, together and, 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 peace, and peaceful and, and peace. All right. It says, examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates, and except you be reprobates. And that word reprobate means void of, ju void of judgment. All right, so if a brother can't tell you nothing and without you brushing it off or, or you feeling some type of way about it, then you, you got to be a reprobate, man. All right, or, 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 or if you doing actions, okay, that's, uh, that's, that's contrary to... Uh, to to uh how uh, a brother is supposed to be conducting himself in the truth okay and, and if you uh get rebuked or reproved on those uh that that conduct that you are conducting yourself in and you do not change those things then you are reprobate you void the judgment because you can't understand what's right or what's wrong what you need to be doing and what you don't need to be doing all right it says Verse 6, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Yeah, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobates. Man, we are not void of judgment. All right, if Yahweh Shah Mashiach is within you, then you know, you 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 have uh 
this word to to to, to filter, filter your judgment through, man? Or you have uh the the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to understand what's right and what's wrong, man? Or if if you going off or you not, man? All right, if not, you a reprobate, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach is not within you, man. All right, and, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach said, "He he that is greatest, let him be servant to all." All right, let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this real quick because I quoted it. Salakia, spiritual thing, Satan. Here we go, right here. That was, that's not the exact one I wanted. Salakia. Salakia, brothers. Just the wrong one. I want the other one. Yeah, it's this one right here. It's not it either. Salakia. Yeah, here we go right here. Call Allah, you how about you? I shall buy for the for the water. All right. Okay. This uh Matthew chapter 7, verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye? So you can't be trying to tell your brother about what he need to be doing and what he need to be correcting himself on and what he uh need to be doing better and what you feel like you reproving and rebuking him on but he can't reprove and rebuke you okay who, who the hell are you are you above judgment man all right judge not or uh, judge not and you will not be judged and that's what that mean all right and in a, in a reprobate uh christian demon nigga tried to hit me with that scripture before man all right but that that, that goes amongst the brotherhood man all right these, these scriptures was written for the elect and, and the elect being the brotherhood, man. All right, the 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 the, the true man of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem man. All right, let's read that one more time. This is Matthew chapter seven verse three. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? So before you come at a brother, you gotta make sure you coming at him uh, correctly, man. You gotta make sure. All right, am, am, am I doing those things? All right, am I being wicked in any kind of manner? Okay. And, and then if you feel like uh, a brother that is, uh, is doing something that's contrary to uh to, to righteousness, okay, and, and you examine yourself and feel like, oh, okay, am I doing anything that's contrary to righteousness? Am I uh, being a, a good brother? Am I being a good servant in righteousness? Okay, then you come at your brother and be like, okay, look, man, you know, look, hey, you you got you got uh you got something in your eye, man. You you you're not doing this right. All right, just like just just the simple analogy of this right here, man. You see your brother got something in your eye, you in they eye or booger in they nose. You gonna tell him, look, bro, you got this in your eye, you got this in your nose. You know what a good brother would, you know. But you gotta examine. Uh, you can't be telling him, oh, he got a booger in his nose or he got something in his eye, and your ass got snot coming all out the side of your nose, man, and and and, and, and uh and, and, and crushed all on the, in the corner of your eyes, man. All right. It says, verse 4, Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Yeah, you trying to tell your brother to do this and that, all right, trying to reprove, reprove and rebuke him, but he can't reprove and rebuke you, all right? Yeah, nigga, well, let's go, let's go. Thou hypocrite, yeah, you a hypocrite, man. All right, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shall thou see clearly to cast out the mote of thy brother's eye. Yeah, and then shall thou see clearly to cast out the uh the 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 the, the uh, mote that's in thy brother's eye, man. All right, cause cause you ain't you ain't seeing clear if 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 you got a beam in your eye, but you telling him he ain't got a beam in his eye. Well, you could be not even seeing the beam in his eye. All right, your ass got beam in your eye, so you can't even see see clearly, man. All right, see this is this is this this brotherhood is serious, man. All right, and it shouldn't be no problem for uh you you to uh reprove your your brother, man. All right, and speak out and, and say say how you feel to your brother, man. That's what it's about, man. All right, and really, man, it's not about being about lovey dubby and best friends and and, and 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 all that, man. This is about doing the work of your how away your how shot, man. All right, that's it, point blank, period, man. All that other friendship, brother, and unity, laughing, loving, he he ha ha. That should have come later, man. All right, this is about serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, the holy city of Jerusalem being established. All right, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai receiving that glory and praise throughout the earth, man. 
All right, this this what this about. All right, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah being exalted. This ain't about nobody else being exalted. All right. All right, it says exalt him and I would exalt you in due time. All right, exalt Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah first. Okay, and then you you will be exalted in due time. Okay, and if you love your brother, you 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 will want him to be in good standing with Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, man. All right. And, 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 uh, and if you love uh, if you love the brothers like you say you do and you love yourself and you have a way you have a shot like you say you do then you would take uh, the opinions and, and counsel of other brothers man you would take rebuke and, and correction man alright this shouldn't be no damn problem man alright this shouldn't be no issue alright uh, a brother shouldn't have to feel no type of way about how he uh, if, if he's coming at you or saying if, if he's saying something right alright and, I, and I'm speaking for, for, for all people, even, even to myself, you know, because I feel like, you know, I, I want to say something, you know, and, and if I'm not saying it, then I'm going off, man. All right. This uh Proverbs chapter 9, verse 8. Yeah, because you even going out, even if you feel a certain type of way and you, you, you're you not saying it. OK, well, you you still going off. All right. This 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 Proverbs chapter 9, verse 8. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Yes, so right, because there's love. All right. An open rebuke is better than uh a secret love. If you rebuke someone who is wise, all right, then he will love thee. Why? Because Yahweh Shah Mashiach is within him. Wisdom dwells within him. All right, he's not a malicious soul. Okay. Verse 9. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Yeah, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser, man. Reprove a wise man, you're gonna get wiser, man. Are you you gonna figure out what you gonna do to be better, man? A better servant unto Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, to brothers, man. All right, it's important. All right, teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Yeah, teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. All right, teach a just man, and he will increase in learning. Okay, this 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 is important. So you you can't set a barrier for yourself on how you gonna learn, man. Or you gotta learn in different ways, man. All right, if, if, if that's that's how you increase in learning. All right, bear with me. I got one more. So like I got a couple more precepts. Let me just get this in Second Timothy. For our brothers know this scripture. Okay. This is uh Second Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, reprove, rebuke, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. <laughs> With all long suffering and doctrine. So if it's in the doctrine of Yahweh way, Yahweh shot 100 percent or 100 percent amok a month. All right, and in patience, okay. You 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 done took the time and think this out. All right, you you done filtered it through the scriptures, okay. You know, and and, and you done uh took took the time to uh peep out what's going, what was right and what's wrong, okay. You 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 done uh been wise in it. All right, these are commandments. This is a commandment for you to reprove, reprove and rebuke, man. All right, if you're not reproving and rebuking, you going off. All right, you going off, and if you're not accepting reproof and rebuke, you going off. All right. And, and all long suffering and doctrine and being patient. All right, let's get this. Ephesians 5. All right, I got to get ready to wrap it up up here at the damn plantation. All right. I'm going to start at 9. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is all in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Yes, yeah, so the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, man. All right, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right, if you in the spirit, you're going to be doing all things in righteousness and good and in truth. All right, because that's what's acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, and if you're not doing what's acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and the brother is in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he's going to reprove you and tell you that you need to be doing things that are acceptable, man. All right, or, or even if, if a brother is in the spirit and he see you not fully in the spirit and you, you can do things to be better in the spirit, then he's going to tell you, man. All right, it says, and had no fellowship with unfruitful works. Yeah, so if somebody doing unfruitful works, something that's adverse to the spirit, you don't even supposed to have no fellowship with them. All right. Of darkness. Yeah, because that's of darkness, man. If it's not of the spirit, then it's of darkness. All right. But rather reprove them. Right. So, hey, reprove them. All right. <laughs> Correct them. All right. Speak out. Okay. For it is a shame even to speak on those things which are done of them in secret. And um, that's, that's going into something else. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna read that last verse one more time in eleven. So like it, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Right, simple and simple and plain, man. All right, simple and plain. All right, I'm gonna get this right here and I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, this is uh 
Ecclesiastes chapter 20, verse 1. There is a reproof that is not comely. Again, some man hold of his tongue and he is wise. Yeah, so there's a reproof that's not comely, all right? Not the best thing to do. You you might not be trying, you, you might not hey, need to uh, reprove and rebuke and correct at every little thing, man. All right, that's not comely, all right? That's not wise. Again, some man hold of his tongue and he is wise. Yeah, so sometimes you might need to just hold your tongue, man. Or just just hold back on it because uh, sometimes a brother can examine himself and see where he's going off it. Or or, or uh, yeah, how about Shima Shah might bring him into a certain situation where he has to learn from. All right. It said it's much better to reprove than to be angry secretly. Yeah, so it's much better to reprove, correct a brother, uh, rebuke a brother than to be angry secretly. All right. Because eventually your feelings going to build up, man. Then it's going to turn into something they don't need to be. All right. And he that confesseth his faults shall be preserved from hurt. Yeah, he that confesseth his faults are right, where he wrong, and he shall be preserved from hurt, man. All right, where well, you gonna be preserved from uh, hurting another brother? You gonna be preserved from hurting yourself, man. Ultimately, you gonna be preserved from your how about shooting your shot hurting your ass. All right, it says, how good is it when thou art reproved to show repentance, right? To turn back, all right? To 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 get to change, all right? For shall for for shall thou Escape willful sin, willful sin, yeah. And if you have uh, uh, done willful sin after you have received the truth, all right, there, there remaineth no more, uh, no, no, no more uh, atonement for sins. Just roughly paraphrasing. All right, Hebrews the tenth chapter. Okay. But uh, with that, you know, I'm uh, give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai by Shem Rakadash. I pray through the Spirit and proud of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. This is edifying. Shalom to the lit.